And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> I like how, I like how you like jumped in on the intro there. All right, this ep- you want to do the uh, this episode sponsored by no. All right, this, I don't know what to say. this episode sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and or accessories at zenrealclothingco.com. Uh, use the offer code SG Podcast for twenty percent off select items. Okay, so this episode is uh, Halo versus Call of Duty. Which one's better? <laughs> so we so we've been um huge Halo fans since back in the day. I think my first well, my first system was a well, if you really want to go back, my first system was technically a Sega. And mm. then in terms of like the newer gen, PlayStation was my first one, but then when when Xbox versus PlayStation that whole like war started, uh I went with Xbox. I believe it was Master Chief. That's why I went with Xbox. Yeah, I think they that that was their main game. Yeah, it was it was their it was like their flagship, and that game was so good. Mm-hmm. So like after after Xbox, the very first one with like Halo Halo One, um, I was addicted. Right. I don't know what do you think. Do you do you like the game? Halo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think that's why I bought the this Xbox. <laughs> oh, because of Halo Two. Uh yeah yeah like Halo on it's weird how like with systems. It's not really about the system itself. It's about the games that they offer. Mm-hmm. So, like, even though the other games weren't that great and the system was meh, it was more that, like, you got to play Halo. Right. You know? So, it, it's weird that, like, systems... Like, you'll buy a whole system just for one game. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's totally weird. So, like, even though, like, I knew, like, PlayStation had better RPGs, mm-hmm. you know, better games in general, I just, like, really wanted to play Halo. Right. You know? So, um... So for me, Halo will always be like number one, and I really like that gameplay style of like futuristic. You know? I think it was yeah. Nobody had done it at the time, so yeah, no, yeah, yeah, totally. It was like but a no, new wave, right? right. Like there, there was like all right. So originally there was like uh, you had Counter Strike. Yeah. There was like Quake. Uh, Unreal was Unreal there. I think so. Yeah. All right, so yeah. so there was all these, and then like Halo came out, which was like. It's kind of like think of like Quake meets. Uh, it's more like Unreal. Remind me of Unreal, but like mm-hmm. with a little bit of that arminess. So like you kind of had a bridge towards like um, Counter Strike, right? Because there was some like element of like being a part of an army, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But it was more like ter- in terms of gameplay, it was more like futuristic, like Quake. So I like that. Right. Uh, when did Call of Duty come out? Uh, I don't know. Do Do you remember? If, do you know if it was like a PlayStation thing or like a? No, it was it was all platforms. Uh, yeah, it was all platforms. Yeah, I, I remember it being all platforms, and it wasn't, it wasn't until yeah. Call of Duty itself was like old, originally like old school. Mm-hmm. Like it was like World War Two or something like that. Right. And then they came out with um, Black Ops, and that's what set it off. That's when people were like, "Oh my god, this game is so sick!" Or it was like modern times, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and the current Call of Duty, the current Call of Duty they were playing is Black Ops Two, right? Not two, no. but like it's no, called Black Ops, right? Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Black Ops was like the impetus to Modern Warfare, yeah. Which is like they went contemporary, yeah. Which people loved, like, because the original Call of Duty, I wasn't a big fan because it was like World War Two. You're using like that's why Halo was better. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because there were uh, futuristic guns and stuff. Like, uh, the older story i guess but like yeah it just didn't really mesh with the younger folks really. yeah there's no like submachine guns and yeah. stuff like that or like nukes i remember playing like a lot of call of duty but like uh but, like, like yeah not liking like, the guns yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah think, no me too yeah um yeah like I remember the, i tried it too yeah yeah because <laughs> it would be like they'd have like the rifle and you'd shoot and then you had to reload shoot and reload right. it wasn't like run but they gun. still are doing that well now there's battlefield right that was a new one that's the new um, type of Call of Duty game, but with yeah, I think the, oh, right, the right. cell was like it's so many players. I haven't played that it's one. Like an actual like battlefield. Oh, that's cool. Like fifty versus fifty or something like that. Wow, that's impressive. They they something tried like to do that. something similar with Halo before, and they did it with uh, what's it Jedi Knight? Yeah, 
the the Battlefield Two or Battlefront, I think it's called or something. Yeah, one uh, of those. Yeah, so they got the rights to do that game. So like, do the Star Wars one of that. But that that game was pretty epic because there were so many players on the field. Yeah, do you know what I mean? The, yeah. Like, it's an actual like war. It, it felt, felt it felt like a war. That yeah. would that you asked you that game felt like a war because you had so many players on the field. Yeah, <laughs> and it was just like it was just like um, smash into each other. Yeah, kind of thing you know yeah. like like right now Call of Duty feels like you're like you're using some strategy and you're like sneaking and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So okay, look, I mean, there's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of that like crouching and sneaking and like trying to move quietly, totally, like, not totally. to get your footsteps heard and stuff. But like, uh, if you seen see some videos about um, like Battlefield, it's just um, it, it's all about like snipers or long range ones, and then there's like so they, I think they brought in vehicles. I, I mean, Halo had the vehicles first, uh huh, yeah, and, and then they brought in like like tanks and like a whole bunch of these things that would uh, work in that battlefield, kind right, of, right, right, kind right. of way, yeah. All right, let let's treat it like a movie review. Let's let's say which one we like better. We're gonna talk about the differences, the mm-hmm. pros and cons, and then we're gonna rescore it. Like, say which one, if we swayed our opinion. Review the current game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, like um, Halo versus Halo in general. No, no, Halo versus Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm saying in Halo. Oh, oh, oh uh, let, let's go Halo Five. Okay. Because that's the re- most recent, yeah. the most recent Halo and the most recent Call of Duty. Right. All right, I'm gonna say, I like Halo. <laughs> surprise surprise if yeah. you watch my stories right uh i mean i i think that's i can't say i like call of duty because said they have so many different iterations sometimes it's a miss sometimes it's a win and i think this is a win but it's still like compared to halo 5 which would you rather uh, play i like them both it's so hard to say because there's so many improvements that I want in Halo Six, I guess. No, but you can't think of that. I know, you I know, only think I know. Of Halo Five. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, as it is, I can see. I I seem to get like a lot of these kill streaks on Call of Duty. I don't think I get them on. So you're basing it Halo. off of your skill level on the game. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, but I do like it's so close. Uh, I'll say this Modern Warfare. Ooh, okay. Yeah. It's okay. very close. It's not like, uh, yeah, it's very close. <laughs> all, right, all right, pro. Let's go pros of uh, Halo. Okay. Um, uh, I like. I like. I like the um, the speed boost. That's okay. really cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the fact that they have so many diverse weapons. Mm-hmm. You know, you can get like rocket launchers in the game. There's more to play with, you know. Grenades are plentiful. Sticky bombs, mm-hmm. uh, like the way you kill people in the game, is way more diverse than Call of Duty. I feel because like Call of Duty is like you're gonna get an airstrike or you're gonna shoot them or you're gonna bomb them, but like with so that's pretty much it, right? But then if you have like um, Halo, it's like you can sticky bomb them and they don't even know they're stuck, and then they'll walk into their friends and they'll explode all of them. Right. Or you'll have the grenade, which is there. You'll snipe them, which is also in Call of Duty. But, like, you can set more... You, you can have more dynamic kills, I'd say, mm-hmm. versus Call of Duty. Call of Duty feels very, like, quick kill. It's like, bang, you're dead. And you're like, oh, okay, press square to reload yeah. faster, you know? But, like, with, with Halo, it's like, you can have, like, a dogfight, run away, heal up, continue the dogfight. Mm-hmm. You know, it's more, it feels more dynamic. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, yeah. What about you, pros? Uh, for Overshield's cool too, like stuff like that. The reload, like that. Yeah, but Halo, that's, Halo. Uh, right, yeah. I do like the sound effects in Halo. <laughs> yeah, true. Even, you know what sound effect, that's a good one. You know what sound effect I really like? The, the reloading of the shield. Right. Yeah. yeah when yeah, it, when yeah. he when you're heal uh you're healing and then the shield like comes back online. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Yeah, I, I think they I because they were trying to uh, what was that um the trailer for the new Halo, uh it was like that, like that was to turn on Master Chief again or like right 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 it was like stuck in space or something uh for that trailer that was really cool yeah like, it sounds very iconic yeah. yeah uh like there's nothing really like iconic sounds for 
Call of Duty. There's nothing Except like for that. the PTSD that I get from playing the game. <laughs> uh, well, I don't get anything like that, but um, uh, but I seem to get more kills in Call of Duty. I don't know why, like how that. So that's your pro. <laughs> no, but it, that means you're, that you're that, that means that my skills are better with Call of Duty than they are with Halo, right? Okay. Like that means I, w I would be having more fun doing those kill streaks and using those different mm. weapons. I, w I wouldn't necessarily um, say so. I'd say like you can still have fun even if you're dying. Uh, you did like 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 yeah. beating a bunch of people is not a precursor for like fun. Uh, in some ways, it can't. Why not? If you keep dying, you could get um, irritated by the game. No, totally. Yeah, I agree. Like in the beginning, but then like yeah, we did get a little bit irritated. But, in this game. but the pro is like yeah. for like on the Call of Duty side, the pro yeah. is that you didn't. I didn't know that you had to. Um, mm -hmm. You had to upgrade your gun, which I really liked. Right. You know? But we'll we'll get to that in a sec. So, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> any other pros for Halo that you like? Uh, Halo. I I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. You played it recently, so uh, the the strat. It feels like it's it feels, been, feels faster. If I like the speed, yeah. No, I feel like Call of Duty is really fast though. Like, it's it's more like chaotic fast. Like when I said like Halo's dynamic, dynamic in terms of like it's not so fast that like it feels like a blur. Like what's going on, mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like, um, whereas Call of Duty, it feels like a blur. Like it's like you'll just die. And you're okay. like, what the hell? You know, like, you'll just get picked off because, like, somebody's, like, hiding and you can't see them because, like, the graphics are too, like, like too good. You can't tell the difference between grass and, like, somebody's lying on the floor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your eyes got to be really trained. Whereas, like, yeah. I guess that's a that's a con for... Um, it can be a pro, I guess. But mm -hmm. I see it as a con. Whereas, like, Halo, there's, like, red and blue. So, like, you can see them right away. Right. Like, it's not like... There's no hiding, mm -hmm. you know. But like Call of Duty, you can camp. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's kind of a pro and a con. They they introduce like the sniper thing where like you can see the reflection. Yeah. Like so, if they're so far away, yeah, you can yeah, see yeah. the reflection of where they are because like that's just straight cheating. I think there was a perk. I think what's it was saying like, that you can get rid of that. Oh, that's cool. So it's like, but like the, there's so many. Oh, that's the other thing too, I guess with. Um, Call of Duty. There's so many like different levels to upgrading your skill, like you know, like your level. Like, uh, so uh, with Halo, I think what's cool is like in the in the Halo Five, like the different armor? skins. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's really different cool. armor. Yeah, but they're useless. That so but that's a con that, for me. That doesn't really do anything. Yeah, for the game, because um, the weapons are all the same, right? Right, totally, totally. Oh, no up, uh, actually, like, so that's a pro for me. I like the fact that all the weapons are the same. So like yeah. there's no like uneven playing field. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that, like that's a, that's straight a, skill at right, that point. Right, right. But I think that way you can kind of like um, make everything level. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Right. There's no like OP going on. Yeah, yeah. And then that's a lot of concern in a lot of these like uh, a lot of times in these um, battle royale games and stuff. They would release a gun, but it's too OP. Then they would have to uh, change its like OP's power level. Power, yeah. In case you're wondering. Yeah. So they would have to change the level of power. So like on this, it's like some guys got a scope and then you start off with nothing. It's yeah, like, so, and you're in, like, in Call of Duty, yeah. that was so annoying. Like I, I actually wanted to quit the game in the beginning because I was like, <laughs> why is my gun suck? Like everyone's killing me. And then all of a sudden when I upgrade, I'm like, oh, I'm killing everyone now. It's right. like, oh, you just needed to level up the gun. Yeah, That's it. Like yeah. you need to add your attachments and like add it in the way that you play. That's, that's all right. So we'll save all that. But that's a pro for me. Like mm -hmm. that gun customization is so good. So like a con for Halo. Let's go to cons now. So a con for Halo for me is that um, the unlockables are like totally useless. Like the skins, you don't even see your skin in the game until like you win a match. Uh, or you do like those moves. Or oh, yeah, 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 you do like a like a kill from behind melee attack. Yeah, or I mean now they both have it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do <laughs> both have it. Yeah uh yeah they both have the healing too remember call of duty in yeah, the beginning? Yeah. you had to find yeah. like um health packs, health packs. i don't remember that, that but that yeah so annoying yeah but now you don't need health packs so i like that yeah makes uh, sense more now any other cons for halo, halo? uh well the halo 5 uh wait sorry sorry pro pro is that there's more strategy in i mean like call of duty super new 
Yeah. So we'll give it more time, but like in terms of like Halo, like people have built strategies. Like we know how to play Halo. You know, it's like you, we're gonna flank them. We all know what flanking is. The maps have been there for so long. You right. Know? Yeah. There's only a set number of maps. Whereas like, it's also mm-hmm. a pro slash a con for Call of Duty if there's so many maps that it's like you really got to keep playing yeah. a lot in order to like come up with these crazy strats. Mm-hmm. You know, where it's like, um, it's like we know how to flank yeah yeah, yeah. because if you don't know the map how are you gonna flank right you know yeah uh i mean there was a lot of things that were done on halo that i like the the big maps i don't know if you remember those oh yeah yeah those are like uh i guess uh call of duty has the same thing they're very similar to each other yeah yeah yeah. actually new call of duty is like it's taking pieces of halo totally yeah no there was also like a bigger map we haven't played that or you haven't played that um, like a huger map. Oh, for Halo? Uh, yeah, for Call of Duty. Oh, okay. Uh, but I kind of didn't like that because it's like too many too people. Big, yeah. Too big, too much running around versus yeah, killing. So. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, Comps for Halo. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't know. Like, it, you just, you're basically playing to have fun, right? You don't really think about the cons generally. Uh, I don't know. What do you? What else did you? What did you say? What did? Um, the skins, the skins for me. Well, it's useless, right? That's an yeah. useless loot thing. Um, oh, I like the looting. That's a pro for me. That's kind of fun. How like you have these mystery boxes when you win, and then like you unlock them, or you can purchase more mystery boxes, and like you don't know what you're gonna get. Right. Yeah. But find that cool. Uh, but again, it's but like, majority of it you don't do. You don't use with, anything you, with it because yeah. a lot of that stuff was actually mainly using the big big map game okay yeah um, you don't use any of it like, you don't use it in the normal matches you don't like unlock the, weapons you yeah. don't unlock like you just unlock skins yeah that's basically we're just playing for skins now yeah. um, like it wasn't really you're not doing much <laughs> with that yeah so that's kind of like that's that's kind of a con yeah i like i like the pro of like it's cool that you unlock things mm-hmm. so it's like you know, well, what am i gonna get like you get like a prize but like the con is that you don't even use the prize so it's like what's the point yeah, you're just waiting to get skins, but yeah. like those don't come that often. Yeah, so yeah, you need like the gold boxes and stuff. Yeah. So you have to like save up your money and then like purchase that. Yeah, I I'd say like if you want a quick pick 'em up game, pick up and go. Halo is my my go to. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because, because like you don't need a thing. You don't need to like upgrade stuff. There's no like leveling up. It's just like let's just play the game. Yeah, you know anybody can pick up the game and we're all even. You know, whereas like. Uh, Call of Duty, it's like, it's how did you upgrade your character? The gun, yeah. Your, your gun, yeah. So it's almost like if you were going to play like a like a tournament, your guy's better, your guy has got to be stacked. Like, I, yeah, it's more, uh, yeah, Call of Duty is more designed for like like long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you got to be committed. Yeah. Whereas like... Uh, and each gun, you got to, le- so that's the other thing. I It is a slower pace of leveling up because you got to level each gun up, each kill. Right. So right, right. Yeah. That's the annoying part. So yeah. that's a con for me. Well, it's kind of a pro. It kind of makes it fun. Yeah, because it does then you, yeah. It, so it, you're starting back to the beginning. Both, yeah. So if you switch your gun, you if have you to like, re-level up that gun. Yeah. So if you like that, then it'll be a, a pro. But if you don't, kind of like that. So I, I all right. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like this. Like as a pickup game, Halo is the go-to because it's an even playing field. Anybody can pick up the game and like school another person. It's all about skill. Mm-hmm. But if you're looking for like longevity and replay value, yeah. I would say Call of Duty is where you got to go because Call of Duty's got more like unlockables over time. So it's like drawing you back more and more. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And they're and they're been releasing um like recently more and more stuff to it. Uh Call of Duty. Yeah. They did have they did start off a little uh uh like um uh like uh, with some uh launch problems like with, oh, really? uh, with the network uh that's another thing i want to talk about All right so halo is only going to be ever going to be on xbox right oh wait wait hold on oh so this is like a, a con yeah okay cool go ahead and with the new call of duty they have become a fully cross cross platform all three right totally and that's a segue to call of duty pros so um cross-platform is amazing that i think that's the future yeah like and you were saying this thing last night which is so fascinating it's like because i was like oh it's so weird that 
we used to play this at my house. Like we'd have like yeah yeah like everybody we yeah right couch call everybody that was there last night mm -hmm. who was playing with us like Sid my sister you Arvel it's like they would have been at my house right and then we would just pass the controller back and forth yeah, sometimes yeah, even yeah. two controllers so it's like you could have like two controllers going which is fun because it's like you're all watching mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. you're just chilling whatever whatever yeah but then like if you um, if you check it out now mm -hmm. what I like is like the um, the onlineness yeah and how it doesn't matter what system you've got you can still play with them mm -hmm. like the uh what do you call that the cross-platform co yeah. uh, playability yeah is amazing and i think that's where all games should go yeah i think it's going there i think this was it's help it's it helps when like a big triple a kind of game does that totally yeah, yeah i agree, I agree. Uh, wait sorry sorry to finish that thought you were saying last night that um mm -hmm. the people like when we were kids it was us playing in the same room passing the controller yeah. but now like when you guys move away and like it's hard to see well yeah we the same other, guy yeah same same people, kids but... have grown up and have their own places uh and uh basically they're still playing with their friends but now you could do it over the internet right? yeah right totally yeah yeah which is fascinating it's like we definitely made a push for that you know Maybe. I think, yeah, I think they saw that. I think they were, I mean, they were also the same gamers. Like, they see where it's going, right? Like, yeah, totally. It was the same people that will buy it. So, and now with the better internet access that everyone has. Yeah, just, totally, totally. And it's interesting it's, with, like, tech, because, like, reading those, like, the Console Wars book, yeah. how, like, they really do think generations ahead. You know, yeah. they're like, okay, let's let go of the younger generation. Let's go for the generation that we're, like, kids mm -hmm. but they're adults now so they're looking for something different yeah you know i really like that like i think working in the tech industry especially like video games although there's like so much negativity around like video games like the crunch time and stuff yeah i think it's so like dynamic and like entertaining inspiring it's like it's very futuristic i really like it mm -hmm. um so pros uh cross-platform Apex did that. Fortnite uh, did that. Yeah, but these are like those are free games. This, right? right, this is the so first. This was game. like the first triple A like big blockbuster type of game. Yeah, with cross platform capabilities. Uh, so that's a huge pro. Yeah. So for me, the re the only reason why I don't play Halo is because, like, as much, is because you guys are playing Call of Duty. I'd be playing Halo instead of Call of Duty, but mm -hmm. you guys are all on it. So it's like, of course, I'm going to be drawn to that game. Right. You know. Yeah other pros so i know i said this is a con but i do like the fact that you can't see the characters um well like uh yeah hiding. you uh when you do uh like have them their name does pop up does that happen? uh like a little like a red yeah thing. but that's like it's a pro con for me because it's like it's kind of telling you a bit right it's it's telling you a bit like i like it because it makes it more challenging okay and more realistic yeah but i don't like it because it makes the game so much harder <laughs> i'm just running past i just die i'm like oh my god what's right, going on yeah, yeah, yeah. you know okay he was hiding in the grass and you're like ah oh. mm. but that that just forces like it's a different style of strategy game right because you have like lower health points so it's not like a dog fight you can't really do dog fights in this game like you're just gonna die yeah you know it's, right. it has to be like pick them off you can't just like dogfight, run, heal, run back in the dogfight. It's not like Halo because mm -hmm. Halo's got like shields. Yeah, and it's I think uh, I feel it's more faster on Halo though too. Right? It's faster than Halo. No, I mean Halo is faster. I feel speed. Yeah. Uh, I no, I'd say it's more like circling back to it. It's, I'd say it's more dynamic. But it's less chaotic. They're both it does, fast. They're both it does, fast. I feel like it does have a more um, fluid feel. Fluid feel, like especially Halo, with Halo the, or... yeah, the Halo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halo because yeah, so it's I mean, like yeah, dynamic. Uh, yeah, but it's not chaotic. So like, yeah. I feel like they're both super fast. Right. Because like, if you're watching it, you're a third person. You're like, wow, how do you guys even like mm -hmm. know where the cursor's going? Right. right yeah. But like, Halo seems more fluid. You're right. That's why it's dynamic. It's more mm -hmm. like. Yeah. It's fast, but it's like we know what we're doing in this speed. 
Right. But like, I feel like with Call of Duty, it's like chaotic because like bombs would be throwing, you just die quickly. Like mm -hmm. in that box place, um, there's this small map where it's like so small that like as soon as you load up, you die. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh man, like yeah. what's going on? And it's impossible to like, like they built that map for a dog fight, but it's like, it's just going to be death upon death upon death. You yeah. Know? Whereas Halo, it's like you can, you have that ability to regroup. Right. You know, you can't really do that in Call of Duty. Uh, so we talk, so pro for like Call of Duty, I felt like, um, uh, like they, they have these, I don't think you've been using it as much, but like these uh, daily challenges and uh, other types oh, of I challenges. Oh, I haven't done that. Yeah, it's just a ways to like upgrade quicker. Okay, um, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I do like those things that they've had. Um, I've been... So, like, especially in those, the small map where you get a ton of kills, uh, I found it much more easier to, like, so, like, shotguns, you got to make 75, like, to reach the challenge or whatever, if 75 kills with a shotgun, it's much more easier to do it in the, that kind of map. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. So, it's, like, those sort of things that I, I do like the small map. You do tend to die more, but you're, I don't know, I feel like, uh, like, sometimes you're just spawn, die, spawn, die. Right, And yeah. then... You'll get some chance to like break out for a bit and then get a few kills. But it's irritating. Uh, but it's the uh, what's it called? Like the respawn time is pretty quick. So I yeah, no, yeah, the respawn time so, is like insanely quick. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But still, it's like respawn die, respawn die, respawn die. Yeah, yeah. If wow. it's if it's happening way too much, then yeah, it, it, that will be uh, kind of irritating. Yeah. Um. But, I, didn't, but I, didn't, I guess that's more like war. That's why it feels like PTSD for me. It's like you just keep dying, and it's like, oh, wow, this is what people go through. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Pro, so customization, your unlockables are not superfluous. Like, it's important to play the game to unlock stuff. Yeah. You know, the more you use one gun, the better you get at it. I really love that about the game. Mm -hmm. That's, like, so cool to me because, like, like, you can just, like, max out one gun that you're, like, amazing. Like, right now, I have that um, assault rifle and a shield. <laughs> yeah. Right? And, like, that's my go-to. Like, that's my playing style. Right. You know? So, like, you can really tailor your style of gaming mm -hmm. to your guy in the game. Right. You know? And they also still have superfluous stuff like skins for your guns. But the cool part is it's your gun, so you can actually see... The, yeah the thing taking place unlike your armor in halo right uh yeah um i don't know i, I enjoyed it, it's been more fun because we've gotten uh like all of us basically playing yeah that, that's, that's really that's thing. really the thing that's like turning the tide for me it's like yeah. it's because we can all play together yeah Honestly, it's, it's the cross-platformness yeah. of the game. Like, that's what makes it amazing. I wouldn't say the game itself. Like, if, if Halo was cross-platform, I'd be pushing for all of us to play Halo. <laughs> yeah, but like, but I don't think they will be ever letting that go. Yeah, totally, totally. But, like, I do like the fact that... The only thing they could probably do is PC. They wouldn't do PlayStation. Right, right, Microsoft, yeah. 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 I, I like um, the, the, the other thing that's pushing Call of Duty, mm -hmm. like ahead of halo for me uh is is the longevity of like like if we're just playing matches again like halo is the go-to yeah but if we're gonna like spend our time on a game and we're gonna want to flesh out the game like but i feel bad for people who are gonna start like like a year from now they're gonna have to re-level up everyone you know we'll be all we'll be at like level 100 we gotta wait for that person to catch up you know what I mean? but there's already people at level 100 and we are pretty much at I'm at around 60. Oh, really? Is it 100 so. the max? No, no, no. It keeps going up. Oh, so you'd be like level 2 billion? Yeah, but like there's yeah. a limit to... Even though you're such a high level, it doesn't mean anything in the sense you have to be leveling up your gun. Right, right. That, that's the cool part. So there's so it's a... like, it doesn't really matter about your like appearance level. It's all about yeah. how you play the game. Yeah. Yeah, so I agree with that. Yeah. Um, but there are certain unlockables you can't get like... Um, like the shield you can't get until you're like level 22 or something like that right so like that sucks that's what i meant it sucks mm -hmm. for the person that's mm -hmm. starting the year from now we all got shields they're like how the hell do you get the shield bro just keep playing keep playing yeah oh that was uh like when i first saw someone having the shield it was pretty annoying in a sense like you couldn't 
uh, couldn't kill him. You like, couldn't kill How him. do you do this? <laughs> but it's like it's that's see like the re- the way I play is like I'll shoot from afar, but then like that's why I like domination. Yeah. I'll pull out the shield and then you yeah. guys hide behind me and you kill them. Right. Like that seems very strategic to me. You know. Yeah. Like you get a point man defending and then you get the other people. I would say yeah, but bo- yeah, I would say like both of these games, it would be more fun with friends like then you yeah, someone totally to talk agree. to. Uh, but then it's much more easier now with this one with Call of Duty because. It doesn't platform. matter what platform yeah. they're on, right? But, so but we see, have one person on Xbox. But but see, the thing is with Halo, it doesn't have that longevity of right. like let's upgrade our gun. Right. We just be paying the right. same match okay. over and over. Right. Assume, yeah. Right. But like, I do like the fact that you can upgrade stuff. Like, that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh. What else? Uh, cons. Cons for COD. Uh, how would you say? Uh, it's difficult. What, what do you think? <laughs> uh, just the the chaotic aspect. Just I'm dying. Just not a fan of that. Like, just because I play that way, like I get like a lot of people right. You patience. do the running gun thing. Yeah, that's that's my because I've like grown up on Halo, right? right. So like running right. guns, my thing, or like. Like, remember Halo 1 where you can jump in the speeder and then we'd have, like, we'd have one guy in a speeder and then you'd yeah. be in the, you'd be in the base trying yeah. to snipe them. Right. That was so fun. Honestly, Halo was so fun back in the day. Hmm. Uh, because remember, remember that one map with, like, the two bases at either end and then you could have the, the vehicles in the center? Right. And then, like, we'd always, like, get the speeder and you'd, like, just fly around the base but there'd be like snipers in the base, so you could still like snipe them on the speeder if you were mm-hmm, good. Mm-hmm. That, those were good maps. Yeah. Yeah, those are good maps, actually. Yeah. Um, Gus Con, what else? Con. I don't know, I guess maybe that's it. It's too real for me. It's too real, too chaotic. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really match my playing style. Right. Uh, I mean, I, I like I've, I've adapted, right? You yeah, you, will, you adapt, will, yeah. But it's just like I prefer that like unrealistic, like gaming, like we we were talking futuristic about futuristic style. You mean no, no, unrealistic. Where it's like I don't, I prefer that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Style. right. I mean, you've um, always had a, you've had that issue with these types of graphics, right? Yeah, I was just about to say, like yeah. I, I was saying before, how like. I don't like it if it's too real. If it's hyper real, it's like, dude, no, I'm I'm in the game to play like something that's right. not real. I'm trying to like. Oh, I want that real feel. But then it's like for me, if it's too real, I would just live my life. You know what I mean? Like I'm here to play games so I can do things that I've never done. Yeah, but it's, right? everyone has their own thing, right? Um, uh, I like the realness of it. Yeah, I see. I see your point, but. Uh, yeah, but that's a personal preference thing. It's yeah, like, yeah. Again, yeah. for like that's why I can't play RPGs unless they're like, <laughs> like super freaking crazy right. futuristic. Right, right, right. Or nostalgic because I'm just downloading Final Fantasy VIII right now. <laughs> you know, that's super nostalgic. Right. Um. Yeah. So I guess score again or like re which reposition? Yeah. Um. Uh, no, I'll, I'll stick with. Uh, unless they can, I'll wait for the next Halo. But since I haven't gone back, but um, just strictly these two games. Yeah, I will. I'll stick with COD. Yeah, I. You know, I'm gonna break it down like this. In terms of its ability to make you want to keep playing because you want to level up your gun. Yeah. And its ability to allow you to play with other people across platforms, I'd say it's the better game at this moment. Right. Yeah. But in terms of loyalty, I always got to say Halo. <laughs> That's my Master Chief's my guy. So like, yeah. For me, Halo will always be number 1, but in terms of the game right now, Call of Duty, so definitely go pick that up. Yeah, it is also the latest game, so. <laughs> yeah, so it makes sense that it's winning. Like it's 
because a lot of things has changed since when Halo 5 was released. There was no talk about cross-platform. There was no talk about totally. all these sort of things. So yeah, these yeah, things yeah. came about this year. And uh, and now well, now we're actually getting what we want so, with the cross-platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely the game of the moment. Yeah. I would would you would you buy a platform just to play the game? Um is it that good? Is it like is it like like let's say you had no platforms. Yeah, yeah. Would you like you're like I don't have any PlayStation or Xbox or computer to game. Would mm-hmm. this push you to game? Like what do you mean like just like like buy. like with Halo for me like I didn't have anything else I saw Halo and I was like ooh gotta play this actually I had PlayStation but I was like I saw Halo and I was like I gotta go Xbox <laughs> uh for COD COD or like yeah for COD I don't like really... do you think it's so good that it would force I mean it's you to not game? so the there is a difference between Halo and COD in the sense I feel like. Halo's got a, like a different. Halo's also name got a better level. story. Yeah, that's the other thing I forgot to mention that. Like the story oh, of Halo right, yeah. is so good. Like I could play campaign. Yeah, we're we were just strictly talking about online, but like I tr- like for me, Call of Duty, the story. It's like I'm just gonna be watching a war movie. Like I'm not into that. I don't like watching war movies. Yeah, yeah. You don't really play COD for the story. Yeah, you, and no, there's no there's a story, story for. I, just, that, I totally story, forgot yeah. about that too. Yeah. Uh, like we know who Master Chief is. Like we know the story. Who's uh, that, Cortana? That's, that's and why all these exactly. Other characters. That, that's why I say he's my guy. Yeah. Like right. So they've they've hit in in a different way, right? Because you you get to know the characters. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, you you grow an attachment yeah, towards the character. Right. And like I'd say that if you're looking for a good story to play, definitely get Halo. Yeah. The Halo stories are amazing, but like, and they build off one another. I mm-hmm. really like it. But like Call of Duty, it's like if they. Seem I don't like think we else, ever played the story. We always just skip the story. The story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just skip the story and just go straight to um, the online. And what I like about the the recent one is that you don't have to download the story. The story. It's yeah, like, it's already there. It's already a big file itself, <laughs> so you don't have to. If you're buying it digitally. Actually, it's funny. People it used to throw me off that people never played the story for Halo. Like some people would just buy Halo and play like multiplayer, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I'd be like. They're like, but the story's so good. Like, how are you not playing the story? <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. Halo Halo story is like phenomenal. That I did like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we did all of them, right? The... Yeah, played all of them. I'm waiting for yeah. the new one. Um. Yeah. All right. So, so there you have it. If you're looking for a really good game to play with your friends, and for a long time, definitely go Call of Duty. But if you want a character that you care about, go Halo. Yeah. Yeah. And like care about and like fun, even playing field. So it's just like pick them up matches, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, What was I going to say? Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh, uh, the the Call of Duty stories feel like. they feel like filler episodes. Yeah, they're pointless. Yeah, they're pointless. Like no story each... built on the next. Yeah, there's game. no like one character to think about. It's, uh, but I, I haven't played the new one. I don't know. If, I've never heard anything good about it or not. So yeah. it's well, something. My my sister was saying that there's this one scene where like you you can watch the torture or skip it, and I was like, why would you put that in the game? Like I would just watch a movie. Like come on, guys, you know. Maybe they're getting like insider information in the sense like, okay, who's picking torture and who's not? Yeah, maybe they are. Right? It's like, like uh, building oh, a how, character profile. How is the yeah? How is the people actually thinking? True, true, true. Yeah. Or or but they could just be escaping in the game, so they pick things that they would have never picked in real life. Yeah. You know. Yeah, Master Chief for the win though. Imagine if they put Master Chief skin in Call of Duty, bro. I'd play with that character all day. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Our prediction for Halo Six. You think they're gonna go ah, you think they're gonna go cross platform? Uh maybe with PC. I just don't see that happening with um PlayStation. Yeah. It's kinda of difficult to do. But the one thing that they missed out on Halo Five was everyone wanted was that couch co op. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Like that was like I remember like but that was at that time, so I don't know how it's gonna feel like now. Totally, I agree. Um, 
But like that was like one of the biggest complaints was that. So that's why there was no other Halo game for the Xbox because they have to re-code the whole thing for uh, to add co-op. Right, 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 right. Like the story co-op and stuff. Right, like that. right, right. Yeah. It was all done through online and people kind of were not happy with that. Yeah. Weirdly. All right. So pick it up, add dish, don't add me, I don't play as much. And um, have a very happy new year. This is the last one before new year. Yeah. Yeah. We and, didn't do a year in review. Yeah, no, we didn't. We did a... No, we didn't do anything. All like. right, quick year in review. What, what's cool that happened to you this year? What's cool? Uh, I went to Egypt. That's probably the highlight of my year. I don't know. The games, I guess. I was. I, I knew you were gonna say that's so funny. <laughs> I was like, I was, thought you were gonna be like Call of Duty. Well, yeah. There's a bunch of there was a you know a lot of games this year also, uh, which is like I mean I can only think of the latest ones. You always tend to forget what you started off with. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Witcher um, came out. No. Oh, the show. Oh, I thought the game. No. No, the game was way back. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> that Stranding was one of them. Oh, which, which we're which, playing right now. Yeah. All right, so that, that's your, your highlight, the games that came out this year? I guess that'll be your like, forever highlight. Yeah. Okay. Because every year there's always going to be next year. We got a bunch of Cyberpunk, Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima. True, true, true. true. <laughs> I feel you on that one. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right, so see you all in 2020 with the new episode. I tend to forget things anyways, so. That's why you always gotta jump to the newest game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or the newest show. Oh, uh, Disney Plus. Uh, I mean, yeah. There you go. That's cool. Year, year in review. Mandalorian. Um, a bunch of different things I liked. Yeah. New new ways to uh, gorge on entertainment. Yeah. A bunch of new streaming your, platforms. Yeah. That's entertainment. Your... <laughs> it's all about entertainment. <laughs> so your year in review highlight is the entertainment that I ever I think seen. The, the question comes, are you not entertained? And I would say, yes, I was entertained. Oh. Ooh, I like it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've solved a mystery that was in my mind of like ancient stuff okay. after going to Egypt <laughs> this year. Right. Because like it was like I read a lot about it and then you think it's super mystical. And then when you see it like face to face, you're like, mm -hmm. oh, it's this is totally human. Right. Like we we just romanticize it in the West. Right. I think uh, you also got scarred with Chernobyl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> yeah. Humans are crazy. Like, please, let's, we could have killed our entire planet. <laughs> Chernobyl. Yeah, well, it still technically are, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Till next time. See you guys in 2020 with more Socratic gamers. Yes. Take it easy. Peace.